It's the final four, starting in a little while. Thanks to Robert Gonzalez for the help with the sound effects. Uh, we are here at uh, Lake Tahoe, and we're very excited to be here for our district manager planning session, an annual ritual. And as part of the annual ritual, by the way, you can see behind me some very nice houses. You can see the lake or an inlet from the lake back there and some docks from all the houses. And as part of our annual ritual, the new managers do jump into the water. And you can see it's snowing outside. And uh, our new managers just did all jump into the water. Robert Gonzalez jumped in the water. Lori Oberst jumped in the water. Leroy Redmond jumped in the water. It was positive. It was funny. And then there was a, a snowball fight outside led by Carl Gedris, who was hurling large snowballs at people, packed very hard, including his division manager, who he nearly bloodied in the face. All right. It's positive. A couple things that are going on. I first want to mention that uh, there are still... Three unpaid entries. The, un the non-payment asses include Philip Raphael, Justin Ip. What's up with that? Get payment. Also unpaid is Brandon Oot. <coughs> Bry, Kelly, collect from that guy. What's going on? And finally, the man that told me the check was in the mail, who already won money in this pool but is not paid, is Chris Nikhu. Is unpaid. And Chris, I want to make an announcement to the entire pool. When I get home Sunday, tomorrow, if I do not have a check from you in the mail, I will disqualify you from the pool, thereby passing your $140 on to Kevin Donahue. All right, I will gladly do that to make an example of people that do not pay because it pisses me off. All right, here are the possible outcomes. There's obviously eight possible scenarios. Those of you that were not math wizards probably didn't know that. But there are eight possible scenarios that can occur with the four teams that are remaining. And here's what happens in each scenario. First, if Duke defeats Butler to win the championship, the winner of the pool and second-time champion will be Mike DC, favorite bracket, baby. Woo! Schmidt. <laughs> Mike Schmidt will win the pool with 94 points. Andrew Van Wy will be in second with 81. Lisa V in third place with 79. Mike Dowett in fourth place with 78. Then there will be a three-way tie for fifth place. Bruce Goodman, Jill Downing, and John Kane. And in eighth place, Joe Shoup. That will be our Elite Eight if Duke beats Butler. Tom Skowski, who picked Duke, will narrowly miss the money, finishing 10th with his suck-ass Suckski picks earlier in the tournament. If Duke defeats Michigan State, nearly identical final standings. Mike Schmidt, this guy, wins the pool with 94 points. But John Kane will come in second with 83, followed by Andrew Van Wy, 81, Lisa V, 79, Mike Dowd in fifth, Bruce Goodman and Jill Downing tied for sixth, and Joe Shoup in eighth. Those are the outcomes if Duke wins. If West Virginia wins the championship, the winner of the pool will be Evan Price. Woo! If it's West Virginia over Butler, it will be Evan Price in first, Tracy Kane in second, Jill Downing and John Kane tied for third, Eric Allred in fourth, and then in sixth, it's a four-way tie between Mike Schmidt, Woo! Brian Winans, Tyrone Wilder, and, yes, me. If West Virginia wins over Michigan State, Evan Price wins the pool, John Kane in second, Tracy Kane in third, coming up with the best husband-wife finish ever in the pool, Jill Downing in fourth, whose husband has never won anything in the pool, Eric Allred in fifth, and then a four-way tie for six between Schmitty, Winans, Ty Wilder, and my illustrious self. Woo. If Butler defeats Duke to win the championship, the winner of the pool... It's me again. Mike Schmidt <laughs> again. God, that sucks. In that case, Lisa V will come in second place. Mike Dowd in third. Bruce Goodman and Jill Downing and John Kane tied for fourth. Joe Shoup in 7th, Evan Price in 8th. Butler wins over West Virginia. Jill Downing and John Kane will tie for 1st. Evan Price in 2nd, Tracy Kane, or Evan Price in 3rd. Tracy Kane in 4th. Four 4-way tie for 5th. Me, Ty, Winans, Schmidt. If Michigan State wins the championship, which we all pray to God will not happen, John Kane with a dominant victory 
will win the pool. If Michigan State wins over Duke, it's going to be John Kane first, Schmitty second, Lisa third, Dowd fourth, Bruce and Jill tied for fifth, Shoop seventh, Evan eighth. If Michigan State wins over West Virginia, John Kane wins the pool, Jill Downing second, Evan Price third, Tracy Kane fourth, four way tie for fifth, me, Ty, Winans, Schmitty. Those are your possible outcomes. Of course, if Michigan State wins, all of the top 20 entrants in the pool will get their entry paid next year. Um, and uh, John Kane gets free entries for the rest of his life. All right? So those are some possible things that can happen right there. Now, I want to explain the tiebreaker procedure because there's going to be a tie no matter what. Uh, for the Somewhere in the Elite Eight, there will be a tie. The s total points you guys put on the online is not relevant for the main pool. We'll use that for the second chance pool. We'll use that for the top 20 if Michigan State wins. But for the main pool, we do not use the um, total score put online. What we do is we have each of you submit a score, an actual score of the championship game. You can submit that score by texting me, by calling me, or by emailing me, dancassetta at gmail.com, and giving me the, the score of the championship game, the actual final score. And we'll take the differential from each team to come up with a total differential, and that will be uh, how we break the ties. All right, And I will make sure that I post all of the scores for anybody that could possibly tie uh, before the game starts so that everybody has it. Okay, If you do not give me a tiebreaker before the game starts, you automatically lose the tiebreaker. So thank you. If you do that, that would be positive. You would be bowing out, and we would appreciate that, especially if you're one of the people that can tie with me. So that's what that's what's going to happen right now. Uh, the payouts are listed online. Um, it was uh, uh, we may have to adjust very slightly first and second place. Um, I believe we have on there six eighty and four four eighty, and we may make it six seventy and four fifty. So if we have to take away a second person's payment, we'll take ten dollars from first place and thirty from second place since we already took forty from first place. So uh, it'll either be six eighty four forty or six eighty four eighty or it'll be six seventy four fifty. All right, the rest are going to remain the same. Have fun watching the games. We're about to tip off here in a little bit. We're going we're to be watching the games here in Tahoe all together, and I'll be back uh, after tonight's games with a quick update uh, leading into the championship. All right, see you guys later.